welcome back or welcome to I am Blue Lotus and y'all it is my most favorite time of the year and no it's not Christmas stay tuned <music> As I stated, it is my most favorite time of the year. One of my daughters is getting ready to graduate. So, on today, we will be working on a rhinestone design. Now, I have acquired this template courtesy of Crafty Leo. So, thank you, Crafty. I appreciate you. But we're going to go ahead and brush in the rhinestones. So what you will need is your template, which is our one of our tools for today. A pair of scissors, just in case we need them. I'm going to go with three different colors. I'm going to go with sapphire rhinestones, and these are SS10. I'm going to go with a golden rhinestone, which are also SS10s, and all of these are from the baby's booty. And last but not least, I am going to go with these are, and I always get this wrong. Let me think about it before I say it, y'all. Hacienda. No, I think I'm saying it right. Hyacinths. That's it. Hyacinths rhinestones. These two colors are my daughter's colors for her school. But I'm going to also add in the golden in the cap part. So, stay tuned as I get the rest of... Oh, let me finish. My bad, y'all. You will also need, of course, your KT mask to actually take and pick up the rhinestones. You will need some type of object to put the rhinestones inside of the template. I also have my little tray because when I first started out, I will be using for the golden ones. I will be putting them in the tray. And just in case you get some stuck, you know how some things just don't work out. I have a picking tool or I also have a wax pen. So I'm going to go ahead and set up on the table and we're going to get started. Okay, I have everything set up. I'm going to also use painter's tape to actually put on the side of my template to hold it onto the table so it does not move. So we're just going to get a nice piece. Take some scissors. like that. I'm going to center it on this cooling mat. I'm going to take and go like that on the sides. And the first thing I want to focus on, like I said, is the cap. I'm going to add golden up here. So we're going to get our picking tool tray. I'm going to put the SS10 golden rhinestones in here. And go ahead and put our top back on and we're going to get our picking tool and I'm going to go right in the cap and um, not all of it just certain pieces I am going to go ahead and put the golden rhinestone okay I'm going to go ahead and straighten them out as you shake them you actually make them straight enough wherein you will have just the top part that you need sitting up So it makes it easy for me to use my wax pen and pick up my rhinestones. After I do this, I'm going to go ahead and um, actually pick that cap piece up. Because if I don't, then I will have to actually take and hand pick 
the rest of them or either I would have to pick them out if I put them in the wrong spot. So I'd rather just go ahead and do the cap first, take that off, and then proceed to do the rest of my design. And actually I can take and go in here and um, I see where I have the line at where the part of the two is. So what I will do is I will do this part down here and then skip this line right here and the rest of those will be golden as well. I'm going to go ahead and finish them out and I will return. Okay, I'm now going to go ahead and pour some of my sapphire into the other tray that I have because what I'm going to do is go in here and already put in the sapphires that I need to put in that's um, up in the cap area. So I'm just going to shake those and go ahead and add those as well into my design. Let me bring y'all in closer so y'all can see. All right. We put this back on. We don't want that to be all over the place. All right. Okay. This one a little different. I got to hold this one because of the end piece at the bottom. So I'm just going to shake that a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and place these in where I need for them to go at. Okay, that one kind of connected. I'm going to pick up another one. And we're going to continue on. So I want these to go in just like that, up in the cap piece because it brings the two completely around. Once I finish detailing this, then I will be able to brush in the rest of my rhinestones with my brush. So we're going to take our time, making sure it is detailed the way I would like for it to be. Let's see if I can get this one to flip over now. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm going to do that like that. And I know the rest of them, the rest of them I will brush in. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up in this area and I shall return. Okay, this is what our design is looking like. I went in and I also had to bring my higher scents so that I could go in and kind of spruce the design up. You know, everybody has their own way of deciding how they would like for their design to go. So I just decided I would actually go in and add the hyacinths up in the cap as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this design by brushing in my sapphire. Okay, I have completely brushed in all of the rhinestones. We have our hyacinths that's in the cap. We have golden rhinestone SS10 that's also up in the cap. And then we have our sapphire in the numbers. I'm going to go ahead and get my KTM mask to go ahead and pick these up. Let's move all of this out of the way. And 
I'm gonna slightly take and move this over to the side and pick up I see one extra there we go I'm gonna take and pull my KTM mask to the side and then pull down like that to make it easier for me so I don't have to redo my design over again slightly move that like that okay and here we go if I can get it up all right come on baby come on baby there we go all right. okay so we're gonna do like the little anchor method I'll take and move it to the side Make sure I have enough room. Bring it up to about right there. And make sure it's kind of straight. Not kind of, but I think I'm a little off with my. Let me hold this down because I'm not straight. I want to make sure it's straight. I'm going to go up again. I can do it like this. Yeah, I got enough. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. Take it easy down like that. And gonna swipe it right across. Now, some of them look like they might have came out of place. I'm gonna push them back in with my hand. We are not going to redo this, honey. And it came too far. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this, and then I will come back. So I went along and made sure that everything was completely back in the rhinestone template hole. I have one or two that are turned up, but as I am ironing the design on, I will flip those back over. We're gonna go ahead and set up and get ready to do the inner part that goes in between the 20 and the 24. Okay, I have completely brushed in all of the hyacinths. Now I'm going to pull out certain pieces so that I can put in this blue where I wanted to go in at. So I'm gonna have this to the side and I'm just gonna take those out I'm not going to do the whole entire thing. There's certain pieces. I want it to come out and have the blue in there. So I'm going to finish this up. And then we're going to be ready to get ready to press this. I will show you the finishing results so I went in and took a lot of the pieces out that I wanted out we are now going to go ahead and put our KT mask on pick this up and we will be ready to press this on to my shirt that I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna put it on a white T-shirt. Oh, had to be quiet for a minute, y'all. Make sure I ain't messing up enough. There we go. Looking good. So, we're going to head to the heat press. Okay, we are now ready to press all of our rhinestones onto our shirt. I am using a regular Hanes. This is a regular Hanes white T-shirt. I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of the moisture out. Then I'm going to use my lint roller. Okay, let me make sure I'm in the middle. Take some of this moisture out. My temperature is set at to be at 325, and we're going to do that for 40 seconds. Alright, we took some of that out. 
gonna go ahead and line everything up we are in the middle I already have a seam that's already in the middle by this being a white shirt I do want to lint roll it to make sure we don't have any extra lint that could get trapped under our rhinestone okay we got that out the way gonna put our shirt on just like this we're gonna go three fingers from the top so I want my design about right here checking in between I'm gonna go ahead and pull up our first half of the design Be careful, I don't pluck anything else extra up. Okay, a little stuck on the board. Pull that out. Okay, we're going to move that out the way. Grab the design with two hands. And we're going to pretty much make sure we are centered move it over some more just like that go in like this and i want it right about here okay i'm gonna drop that down smooth it across i do have maybe about one or two of my rhinestones that I do have to turn over I will do that afterwards right now we're waiting for it to heat up when it is fully heated then we will press okay this is our first press this is a cool I'm at a hot peel I have one or two rhinestone that I do have to put back in place I'm gonna go ahead Pull that off where it came from. And hopefully we will be able to put it right back in spot for no problem. And there we go. That one will go right there. And there is another one down here. And that one is right here. And that one will go down here in its spot. Okay, I'm going to take and move that in in place okay now we can go ahead with our second part of our design which is the senior I'm going to pick that up be careful I'll knock them other two rhinestones out take my time and peel this off two hands again taking line this right into place where it should go and that is right there making sure it lines up before I actually take and place it uh oh look like that other rhinestone completely okay I gotta move this over a little bit so it's going to take a little putting together, but we got it. Okay, that one should be right there like that. That's right there. Make sure that other rhinestone got back in its place. Okay, cool. We're going to take that, line that down, move that over a little bit, and everything is pretty much lining up. Just making sure the other rhinestones won't be on top of each other. I'm just moving them over. I can pull my shirt a little bit. And we're going to go in like that. Making sure everybody is completely in place. Okay, I think I need to pull this up one more time. Yeah, I see a few of them. If I move them, they're going to be moved wrong. Okay. 
So I'm going to move that up a little bit. Just trying to make sure my rhinestones are going to be on top of each other. So I'm just repositioning the shirt a little bit. Okay, so everything looks pretty much okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a Teflon sheet down this time. And we're going to go down for 40. Okay, we are at the finish line to our design. Going to take and pull up from this way. And just like that, everything is completely in place. I'm going to hold on to this because we're definitely going to need it for some other designs. So this is what our shirt is looking like. We're going to cut this off because this is hot. Hot. Hot, baby. All right. So this is what the shirt is looking like. Came out real, real good. The design is very, very pretty. I am so thankful. Thank you, Crafty. Leo for sending me this design but this is all that we have for this video please join me as we continue to do graduation takeover until next time y'all be safe in these streets